In this video, we're going to take a look at trig functions of acute angles in right triangles. So when we have a right triangle, we have to know that one of the two acute angles, so if I have a right angle here, which is of course 90 degrees, there are two acute angles that add up to 90. So whichever one we deem to be theta, or whatever you want to call your angle, we're going to go from that angle. Now, if I draw a line that represents that angle, the side that that angle opens up to is considered the opposite side. The one that is not opposite, but next to it, is called the adjacent side. And the one across from the 90 degree angle, which is the longest side, is known as the hypotenuse. So when we define our trig functions, we define them as sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And so if you'll see, I have SOHCAHTOA written up here. SO means sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And then cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's cosine adjacent hypotenuse. And then tangent is opposite adjacent. So SOHCAHTOA. It's just a handy little way to remind you which one is which. Now, if you'll notice, there's nothing for cosecant, secant, or cotangent. And that's because if you take a look at sine, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. So these two are inverses of one another. They're reciprocals. Similarly, if I look at cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, secant is opposite um, I'm sorry, hypotenuse over adjacent, and then tangent opposite over adjacent, cotangent adjacent over opposite. So in an example like this, we would be looking for just defining what sine of theta is. Now, let's assume that this is theta, because it doesn't matter which one is theta, but whatever theta is, it's going to uh, define what all of the fractions are. So if theta is this angle, then opposite would be 24, and hypotenuse would be 25. And cosecant would be 25 over 24. So that one flipped over. And then if I look at cosine, cosine takes the side adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cosine theta equals 7 over 25. And then secant theta equals 25 over 7. And then the last one, tangent, doesn't use the hypotenuse, but does, I'm sorry, does opposite and then adjacent. So tan theta 24 over 7. And then cotangent theta, oops, not cosine, cotangent theta. And then that's going to be adjacent over opposite. Here are two practice for us to look at, and you can certainly do these on your own first, or you can look at them with me, your choice. So suppose a right triangle has length legs of length six centimeters and three centimeters. So obviously I'm going to put the six on the longer side and three on the shorter side. And because it says legs, I know it's the two that create the right angle and not the hypotenuse. So if all I need to do is find tangent of theta, that's very easy. It says theta is the larger acute angle. So here's an angle and here's an angle. Which one's larger? Well, obviously the one across from the longer side. So this guy's going to be theta. So if I need to find tangent of theta, tangent, remember, was opposite over adjacent. So I actually didn't have to do any math at all. Tangent of theta is two. Now let's say for fun that we were also asked to find sine of theta. Well, sine of theta if you'll recall, is opposite over hypotenuse. And we don't know the hypotenuse. 
So often you'll get questions like this where you don't have all of the sides, but because it's a right triangle, I can say leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. And then that gives me 9 plus 36 equals c squared. That gives me 45 equals c squared. That gives me radical 45 equals c, because if I take the square root of both sides. And typically, we wouldn't leave it radical 45. We would say 45 is the same as 9 times 5, and the square root of 9 is 3. So 3 radical 5 is equal to c. So if I needed to find sine of theta, I would take the opposite side of 6 over 3 radical 5. I would reduce to 2 and to 1. And then I would rationalize the denominator because we never keep a radical in the denominator. And that would give me 2 radical 5 over the 3 turned into a 1. Radical 5 times radical 5 is 5. So that would be sine of theta. Same idea, if I have an acute angle theta, so choose an angle, and tangent of theta is 5 over 12. Remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent, 5 over 12. Now I want to find secant of theta. So which one was secant? Secant is the inverse of cosine, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is 1 over cosine theta. And case, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 1 over adjacent over hypotenuse, which is hypotenuse over adjacent. So just like last time, I'm going to have to determine the final side, the hypotenuse. So 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. 25 plus 144 equals c squared. 169 equals c squared, so c is 13. So now I can find secant very easily. The hypotenuse is 13. The adjacent side is 12. Coming up next, we'll take a look at trig functions of any angle.